Hey there viewers, it's Charlie I'm back again with another Transformers review and today's review is going to be on Generation 2 Combat Hero Optimus Prime Well, that's what you'd think this figure is However, this is actually the European release of the figure and here in Europe, this figure was not called Optimus Prime but was instead known as SureShot. Yeah, why they just decided to name this guy after a, a random target master in Europe, I'll never know. Especially seeing how with Combat Megatron, they named him Arch Force, and that was a completely unique name. But with SureShot, they just took the name from a G1 target master and slapped it on a completely unrelated character. I mean, sure, this guy doesn't resemble Prime that much from the, in vehicle modes, aside from the fact that he's a truck. But, still, I, I, I don't see why they renamed him. I mean, yeah, the colors don't really match, but still. But, well, let's have a look at the actual figure. Having a look at the truck modes, we can see that the cam section is a white color. We've got, see, we've got some stripes, a yellow stripe, and an orange stripe, and I guess that leads to this little bit of red here at the at the front grill and and front lights. Will be the normal like smokestacks are blue on this figure. The windows are see-through, and you can actually see a, a steering wheel in there, which is pretty cool. The back of the vehicle is red. Pretty much. <laughs> Here we go, 360, we've got this. Well, we have this entire launcher section with this pump, which I'll get to soon. But having a look at the underneath of the figure, this, yeah, this version of Prime, if you want to call him Prime, I'm just going to call him Sure Shot because that's what this, this figure is. But... If this, if you want to call him Prime, then this version of Optimus Prime transforms in a different way from the other figures called Optimus Prime. Because the front of the vehicle forms the legs, and the back of the vehicle forms the arms. Because normally with Prime, the front of the vehicle forms the, the chest, while the back of the vehicle forms the legs. So this is a sort of role reversal here. And we get to see the head, which didn't change at all, so we still have the Prime Head, even though this is a different character. But let's have let's just have a look at the actual gimmick. If you remember my reviews on Laser Op Optimus Prime and R.I.D. Bludgeon, then well, you'll recognize this little thingy. This is one of those little pump things. So yeah, you're supposed to put a missile on there, press the little pump down, and it fires the missile. And I, I'm going to use one of Laser Prime's little rocket missile things. Now, I think normally it's supposed to just slam it, but... Well, I don't really want to. I don't really want to slam it because that's going to um, make things wobble. So let's just try and press it. And as you can see, it's not working. Yeah, I've. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea why it doesn't work in on my like combat figures. If anything, it could be like a hole in the actual missile tip. Because if I hold my hand here and like press the bellows, I can feel air going through the actual missile. So 
there could be like a hole, a little hole thing in the rubber tip. So that could be the reason why, but with the power of imagination. Psh, yeah, that was sort of underwhelming, but well, I need to make a fire somehow. Right, well, another thing you can do is, well, store the missiles, which is very cool. So if you have another one, you can store it there as well. And that's a, re a really good feature, so you don't lose them. Buy other laser prime missiles in the trailer. And if I can just figure out how this goes. Oh, there we go. And that, I just like to put the little hose thing through there. There we go. Now, another accessory that this guy has is this gun. It's just a little blue uh, gun. Doesn't really do anything aside from give him a bit more, I guess, weaponry. But it can go on top here if you want it to. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. So, let's have a look at the transformation, eh? So, if I can just tilt my camera up. Now, to start off, what I'm going to do is rotate this entire section around. Come in here, take the, these little white sections and push them inwards. Take the entire front section of the truck, fold that around, or, uh, split that, and then move those into place. There we go. So as I said, the front of the vehicle is what forms the legs this time. And the back of the vehicle is the arms. So to get to so form the arms, so that we'll get the fists out. Split this. Move this down. Pull, pull that out. Rotate that around. Move that down and rotate that 90 degrees, and now you got an arm. If this arm, it's a little bit harder because this is the arm that has the little cannon. So the hose can sort of get in the way at times, but once you figure it out, it's... There we go. Well, here we have Sure Shot in his robot modes. And the uh, pump section can just rest on his back. Now I'm just trying to get his legs standing. There we go. So yeah. You can definitely see the resemblance to Optimus here, can you? I mean, the head, the, the entire chest section. This is just Optimus Prime, which makes me wonder, why didn't they just call this guy Optimus Prime here in Europe? I mean, that's what America did, because this guy was called Combat Hero Optimus Prime in, in America. But nope, this guy was called Sure Shot here in Europe, as I said. Hmm. Yeah, Hasbro has done some questionable things in the past. Yeah, renaming classic characters for no apparent reason. Even if they, like, still have the name, like... Well, before before I go off on a tangent, because I have no idea what I'm saying anymore, let's have a, a little 360 of the figure. Pretty much the only kibble is the pump on the back and the hose.
But aside from that, there's there's no other bits of like kibble on the sky, which is pr uh, which is pretty good. And look at the head. Well, I'll. That's actually a really good prime head, and it does have a bit of light piping, if you can see. So yeah, it does have a bit of light piping, which is pretty good. Ooh. Now, for this figure's articulation, the head can rotate. The arms can move, well the shoulders are in a ratchet joint, it's got some shoulders, sideways, uh, not shoulders, elbows, some sideways elbow action, and he can T-pose, so yeah, he can T-pose, which is awesome. This guy actually does have some waist articulation. And his legs are actually really poseable because they can go back, they can go forward. He's got some really good knees thanks to the, his transformation. And if I can get his arms out of the way, he can do the splits. Which is some really good... Uh, which I think is amazing. Although one thing I wish he could have uh, is some heels. This guy doesn't have any heel joints from what I can see. So, and coupled with the pump on his back, it's quite easy to knock him over by accident. So yeah. Try if if you have this guy, be careful when you're trying to pose him because he can fall over a little bit too easily. Well, if we just get this guy's gun. There we go. Now he's ready to f face off against Megatron, or if you're in Europe, Arch Force. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say. Complaints. Well, the gimmick, the, the rocket shooting gimmick, could be a bit hit and miss at times. Because it, it depends on the condition of the hose, on the figure, and, and the actual rockets themselves. So, the missiles couldn't have trouble firing at times. But my main complaint is the fact that this guy has no heels, so... As I said, it's really easy to knock him over. So, have trouble... Uh, have fun trying to stand him up. Yeah, you'll... You'll have a lot of trouble doing it, I bet. But other than that, do I recommend him? Well, if you're a Generation 2 fan, then... Yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Although... I'd say if you want to, if you do want to add this guy to your collection, be a bit careful. Because, well, the sure shot version of the figure, the windows are blank. Whereas with the combat Optimus figure, the windows say, uh, the windows say Optimus Prime on them. So yeah. If you want to know which figure is which, on combat Optimus Prime, the windows say Optimus Prime on them, and on Sure Shot, the windows are completely blank aside from that little line detailing there. If you can see, so if you want to be careful on what version of the, of the figure you're getting, if you want this guy, then well, there you go. But if you're a Generation 2 fan, then I definitely recommend this figure. But well. If you're not a Generation 2 fan, then I'd say it's up to you. Well, this has been my review on Generation 2 Combat Optimus Prime slash, de uh, slash Sure Shot, if I can even speak. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.